scientists create Frankenmouse. Talk about some weird science. New research published in the journal Nature Biotechnology details how scientists from the Salk Institute transferred human brain cells into mice pups. Newsweek reports that researchers took brain cells from human fetuses, turned them fluorescent green, and put them inside the brains of mice. They're not making an army of mice men. Rather, they hope the part human rodents will teach them more about our own mind. Researchers also placed small plastic windows over animals' skulls to track how the human cells developed in their new environment. This was observed over a period of several months, and human brain cells were found to outnumber the mice brain cells in some areas. So, did the part human mice get smarter? Nope, they were no more intelligent than other mice. But as Newsweek reports, the research could lead to some pretty great applications, such as being used to help patients with brain damage. Science of the bizarre and strange. Zombie satellite found by amateur stargazer. A zombie was found in space last weekend. A zombie satellite, that is. Scott Tilly received a signal from a spacecraft number two zero 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 one seven a two six one one three. That's NASA's missing image satellite. After being launched in two thousand by the space agency, the satellite was thought to be long gone after scientists lost contact with it in two thousand and five. The satellite was sent into space to investigate Earth's magnetosphere, the space around our planet controlled by our planetary magnetic field. NASA is now reportedly working around the clock with old software in a bid to communicate with the zombie satellite. Maybe John Constantine can help. Would you give this bear a hug? A new species of water bear has been discovered in, of all places, a Japanese car park. Writing in the journal PLOS One, scientists designated the new species of tardigrade as Macrobiotis shonaicus. After the initial fighting in Japan, researchers were unable to identify which type of tardigrade it was. Reportedly, 20 new species are found annually. They bear resemblance to some other species of tardigrade, but the new species is noted for its unique eggs. These have lengthy tentacles and a solid exterior. Researchers also noted the creature's mouth, which has three circular layers of teeth. The research was carried out by scientists in Japan and Poland. Weird time crystals get DoD funding. Earlier this year, the U.S. Department of Defense's Super Science Guys in DARPA announced it would help fund research into time crystals. But what the ancient one are those? Regular crystals are made up of structured atoms in a shape. If touched, a crystal won't break apart. The structure remains rigid even when moved. It generally maintains its shape. Time crystals also feature an atomic structure, except these aren't solid. The structure is constantly moving, repeating it through time. Researchers say these are the world's first non-equilibrium matter, or more simply, a matter where forces are not balanced. Gizmodo reports the research is mostly hush hush. But these objects may have applications in atomic clocks and also potentially quantum computing. The star that just won't die. Know how Super Mario has a superstar that makes him invincible for a short time? Well, this star trumps it, and epically so. A three-year-long supernova event, half a billion light years from Earth in the Ursa Major constellation, has confounded astronomers. Designated as IPTF 14 HLS, the supernova was first detected in 2014. Reportedly, there was a similar explosion observed in 1954 in the same area. Scientists theorized the original star was so hot it may have created antimatter at its core, forcing it to become unstable and explode. This could lead to the supernova repeating until it eventually tears a hole in space-time and becomes a black hole. And what would lay beyond that theoretical space abyss is anybody's guess. A nearby star is emitting weird radio waves. A star close to our solar system was found last week to be playing some pretty weird jams on the radio. Well, not exactly. The Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico discovered peculiar radio signals coming from the star Ross 128 in the Virgo constellation. Scientists say the reason for this could be one of three things: the signals could have originated from a solar flare, from something else passing in front of the telescope's view of Ross 128, or it could simply be a radio burst from a high-orbit satellite. 
Researchers say the recurring hypothesis that aliens are behind the signal is at the bottom of many other explanations. So it's probably not E.T. or the Death Star, Spock or the Saiyans.